Four ex-British infantry soldiers fly out to the deserts of Gran Canaria for a 36 hour airsoft game, sneaking up on enemy positions in the dead of night using night vision goggles, infiltrating a terrorist bomb making facility, there's a bomb, there's bombs, there's bombs bro, building forward operating bases similar to what you'd see in Afghanistan, crawling on our belt buckles as a sniper pair to take out a target, with the story ending at the top of a mountain where we ambush an entire enemy platoon in complete darkness. Three, two, go. We take you from hour 1 to 36. One time snap plug. <laughs> but first, we must collect our kit from Corporal Hades. Hello, mate. Good, Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh. Issue me out the kit. Back arms 416. That's beautiful. Check that. Happy that, mate? Yeah, I love that, mate. I'm going to get 10 mags. I'll give you those ones. No, no, no. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you're going to need a pistol. Check that for me, please. You're going to need tracers. Tracers. Great like tracers. All right. Cheers, World bro. Airsoft Tactical Center in Tenerife. Two? Yeah. Two grenades? Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's what the doctor ordered. Okay, so this is impact. That is time. Time delayed. How much have I got on this? Not long. You got enough there for four grenades. Kit issued. We now spray our toys to match the environment. So we're just heading up to the assembly area now, and this is pretty much the ground we can expect to be working in for the next 36 hours. There'll be a lot of highs and a lot of lows. Been given a space from this guard tower all the way over to that little tent over there. So essentially we're gonna set up our ponchos and our tents and stuff here. So we are in the deep mountainous south of Gran Canaria. Pretty damn tasty. We call this a patrol base. Yeah, pretty decent patrol base. So, so the next thing is to uh, set up the bashers. Trying to put up a Spanish issue one man tent with two people. So far we're having mixed results. Just like that, the boys are set up. Let me take to my humble abode. Welcome to Basha Nico. The most important item of the Milsim. 100%. This is it, this is us. For 32 hours. What are you doing now, Charlie? Thank you, bro. Today, we're on stagging. 50 minutes. Just perk myself up. Got a nice little coffee bag with me. <laughs> it's 5.20 in the morning, and we've just been pulled in for our first brief. Got potential IEDs around that area. Basically, this is a recon mission to find out how we operate in this area in future operations. Testing the pet box before we go out of patrols at night. That is on. Using this as the FUV. Those in there. So those lights, mm -hmm. that is literally the enemy camp. Down into this dead ground here, I want to go the other side of this yep. at ridge, You'd be behind it so they can't see us, at least to that mound. We're in a bit of dead ground right now, about to hit a left flank. An enemy dragon? Definitely one. Yeah, there's definitely not 25 around there, that's a fucking bust. I think this is going to be our FUP here. Kit off. Yeah, exactly. Two mag. Quita todo. Naughty. Vale, dos, dos cargadores. Not you. And Alex. Eyes on on the other side of that. Pay attention to my iPro, the Blot Tacticals. They were designed and advised by former UK Tier 1 Special Forces and currently used by UK Special Forces. What makes them so different is that the lenses are chemically baked in antifog. You can get 10% off with my code and then tenant checkout. We're in kind of a snipe position, looking over the target that we patrolled through the night to recce me with Alex. Now it's got sights on the enemy base. Okay, so there's two, two trucks. One's a white looking Ford Cougar. One of them's a Coyote Tan four wheeler. Happy. There I see. Okay. <laughs> have you, what have you got? Show me what you got. Wait, I see you, Let's push back. So we just did a recce. The light, well, it starts to get really bright really quickly. So we ditched our kit and we kind of sprinted towards a position. Obviously, in a sneaky little sniper way. Had a little sniper hide and uh, basically did data collecting to see what the enemy base, what was going on in there. Enemy base located. We RTB with the intel to only find our fob is under attack. Oh! Whoa! Oh, he's throwing bricks. Give me the word, I'll start walking. You got your eyes on, which one? Yeah, Roger. Mate, 
Please say you got me public order in them. I wouldn't be surprised if he turns around and just blats off some shots towards us. So I'm ready. As soon as he does, he's not going to know what hit him. Yeah, we're just having our breakfast. It's getting close to game on. Yeah, so we've had these couple of bands, these vehicles rock up. Started off as a peaceful protest. I've seen them with weapons, seen them threatening bombs and shit. So I think it was, if it wasn't for us getting dressed as quickly as we did, they'd be inside. Right, done with night ops now. Uh, so we're all gonna can cream up. So the reason why can cream exists is because there's no straight lines in nature and we're just trying to break up prominent features of the human face. I'll say I am no specialist at this. All right, I don't want to overkill it. Reckon that'll do. Our team has been pulled into the briefing room. A terrorist bomb making facility has been spotted by our drones. Our mission is to infill into the facility without being spotted and neutralize any threats. Top priority, we need evidence. Any HE or explosives, collect the intel and RTB. Right, we're getting that landing in the back. So we've just been dropped off by a vehicle convoy on uh, top of uh, one of the mountains overlooking the compounds we're about to attack on too. Right. We've got to cross it, we've got to go under. Come on then boys, let's go climbing. Down there. Joking. Nope. There's the bomb factory. That's the roof. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. One time's enemy, one time's enemy. Yo, tell them to bring the sniper here. There's one, hiding in a bush. Another one in the middle there. Say again. There's a silent here, 12 o'clock, a fist left. Yeah. 10 meters through that, there's a guy in a prominent white t-shirt standing behind a bush. Hold on a second, hold on a second. Let's just see if Dan wants it, let's see if Dan wants it done. 12 o'clock, there's a prominent white silo. A fist left, 10 meters forward. There's one times enemy in a white t-shirt. Right to left wind. Get a distant laser before you lose. He's moving more towards us. I thought he just waved at somebody. I lost him. I haven't got a shot. Yeah, Roger. Back up, back up. He hasn't got a shot. Lewis not being able to take a clean sniper shot, we turn to plan B. Charlie and myself team up as an assault pair and climb down the side of the mountain to get eyes on the target. We must not be spotted. That is our call sign now, 50 meters away from the objective gates. Over. Right, troops. JVG, sniper pair, plus an assault group, knee cover. Charlie on the LMG, I'm ready to get down that hill. However, what's happened is that I've become separated now from the rest of the patrol. It's what we call a split call sign. Plan has not gone well. I tried to catch up with the rest of the patrol, but I just can't, I can't catch him. The enemy has absolutely no idea that we've scaled this mountain so we can attack from the roof. Right, okay, Roger, mate. Me and Nico can make a run, not even a run. We can get onto the roof of the compound. Without being spotted? Without being spotted. Yeah, Roger, go for it. Contact, contact. Keep clearing this big one. Hey, that radio, get it off. I'm gonna peel off left. Yeah. I'll do a second platform. Yeah. Watch my arcs to the right, please.
It's a bomb. There's bombs. There's bombs, bro. There's fucking bombs here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right there, right there. You clear left, I'll clear, clear right. Electrician. <laughs> Cut the red wire. It's clear, mate. No one's here. Just let me know. Oh, vehicle, vehicle inbound, vehicle inbound, vehicle inbound. LNG, LNG, get on that gunpoint now. It turned out to be DS picking up the enemy casualty, a little confused to where the rest of the enemy team is hiding. Anyway, objective complete, we RTB and get tasked with a very spicy mission. The position we wrecked yesterday, the Skulls group, in their possession is a HVT. We're going to go up there and they're going to hand over that HVT to us. In exchange for us defending their camp against an imminent attack. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. HVT located. We set up a snap ambush and wait for the enemy to push our location. In my 12 o'clock, as I'm looking now, 60, 70 meters. I thought I'm not going to engage until they get closer. Coming closer now. One, two, three, four, 50 meters out. Get ready, Charlie. Three. Two, go. Right, bomb back. Bomb back, bomb back, bomb back. Nice, Charlie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate left, I'm gonna rotate left. Yeah, I'm crossing, I'm crossing your fire, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna rotate left, who is that? Alec, come on, come with me. What was I distracted? <laughs> nice. Say that, Alex, keep me distracted. <laughs> Mission complete, we successfully protected the camp and we RTB to base. If you enjoy this kind of content, let me know, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, leave a comment below. Peace. Ah, uh, Roger. Looking for a one-time snap plug. <laughs>